My wife really liked this idea of creating a multi-level birdhouse out of some reclaimed barn wood, except of course, it wasn't free. But I was able to get three decent sized boards at 70 inches, 66 and 45 inches, which will allow me to create three decent sized birdhouses. I also found this steel roof flashing eight inches long, and these will be great little roof sections for each one of the houses. But to get started, we'll need to do some trimming of the barn wood. And so we'll cut off the damaged ends off of each one of the boards before we start cutting our finished lengths. And I really love this piece with the white and red paint on the exterior. We'll save as much of that color as we can. Now it was time to clean up the rough edges and bring the total width of each piece down to five inches. Now I'll mark the center on a couple of these boards, which will wind up being the peak for each one of the house roof lines. And these roof angles will be at 45 degrees, which will match that steel flashing really well. We're also going to hang on to these little cutoff pieces because they're going to come in handy as we put the roof on each one of the houses. And so because I'm looking for clean edges when I join the walls to the houses together, I'm going to cut miter joints on all of the major house corners. I'm gonna to need to do some extra trimming now that I've cut the roof line so that the sides to the house are at the lowest level of the roof. I also made a mistake here because two of the smaller houses only had three sides and I need one of the sides to butt up against the largest house. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. So I took one of those angled cutoff pieces and glued it back on to give me a flush edge that I could glue and then screw to the main part of the birdhouse. A large Forstner bit really did a great job cutting out a hole big enough for the bird to enter. And I had some decorative pieces that I wanted to screw into the front or the face of each one of the birdhouses. These are antique hose bib handles, but we thought metal stars or other decorative pieces would look great here too. So we'll start with assembling the largest center house first, and we'll glue these miter joints together. And blue painter's tape does a great job helping you to pull those pieces together. Nice clean edges on all corners. And for the three-sided smaller houses, I'm gonna use some medium CA glue in order to hold the pieces together before nailing them permanently. All you need to do is hold it for a second, add some activator, and it's relatively solid until you get the nail gun out to finish the assembly. And now you can see the flat sides will fit up against the larger house really nicely. Now if you don't have an air nailer, 
one inch brad nails work really well. And sure enough, even though the leaves aren't done changing color, we had a massive snowstorm that day. Only in Michigan. Now that the three houses are assembled, it was time to put the three pieces together. And hot glue will do a great job just holding these sections together until we can get them drilled and then screwed for a permanent connection. These are exterior rated deck screws with small heads that hide nicely inside the wood. These pre-manufactured steel flashing angles come at 8 inches long and they needed to be trimmed in order to fit each one of the roof lines. And here's those cutoffs that we glued and screwed to the back wall, which provides the back support for each one of those metal roof sections. Hot glue will hold them in place until we get these drilled and then nailed in with some steel brad nails. I'm also recycling some yellow cedar planks that we had from an old deck on the house. And this will make for a great platform to put the birdhouse on top of. And cedar holds up really well in wet conditions. Now, you can drill a simple hole for a dowel, and that provides an excellent perch for the bird to enter his little birdhouse. But my wife liked the idea of decorating it with these wooden finials, and they actually look pretty cool on the front of the house. Now we'll get the birdhouse centered on the base and then this is where hot glue will help you hold it in position until you can get your screws set on the bottom. And because it's screwed together this will allow you to take it apart for cleaning if you need to from year to year. Now because the birdhouse is heavy, I'm not recommending that you hang this from a tree. It needs to sit on some sort of a base. So I stripped the bark off this post and I'm gonna put the birdhouse on top of this. The post wound up working out really well. And I put a piece of plywood leveled up on top of the post and that provides a base to be able to attach the yellow cedar which holds up the entire birdhouse. It really looks awesome and came out great. I mentioned there were free plans available for this birdhouse, and you can find them out on thefamilywoodworker.com. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you soon. Take care.